from the field. So champion Christian will have to pull up the next man facing this UT Martin team. Filled with great optimism for 2023-24. Ready for the tip off here in Martin, Tennessee. And it's won by Esau Muhammad and tip back to Jordan Sears as the Skyhawks go right to left. Champion Christian will go left to right. Sears attacking. Bounce pass. Muhammad inside gets the first points of the year. Well, you see Muhammad's strength and size, broad shoulders and finesse on that play. A nice little reverse. As A.J. Williams, he works at the top of the key against Desmond Williams, one of the best defenders in the OVC. Now right corner, Laurent. Back Williams defended well. Fadeaway shot taken off the front of the rim. Rebound bounced around and an offensive board gathered for champion Christian's Malik Laurent. Unfortunate for the Skyhawks, just could not control that rebound even though they had it. Williams left wing. Fadeaway was taken by Noah Brooks. Now a step back three off the back of the iron. Rebound Desmond Williams as that ball almost popped out again. Instead, Williams will corral it through the contact of K.K. Kirk. 2-0 UT Martin. Sears crossover and a spectacular move from Jordan Sears and UT Martin out to a 4-0 lead here early. Yeah, eluded the defender and Young just hanging in the air with the big finish. Young working around a screen. Bowman. And back out to A.J. Williams. The leading scorer for this team, averaging 23 points a game and gets his pocket pick from the Skyhawks. Desmond Williams in transition. Back Muhammad now to Williams. Three-pointer in and out. Rebound bounced around. Tossed back in. Excellent save from champion Christian. K.J. Young. St. Louis, Missouri native. Going one-on-one -on -one here with Desmond Williams. Pulls up for three. And Muhammad will grab the board. Yeah, really impressing Muhammad up close here on press row with his size. Again, at 6'9", 245. Curry, hop, step, 4-2. K.K. Curry makes it 6 nothing. Skyhawks with 17.55 to play in the first half. Well, when he gets space and can go to the basket, he's so fast. Young fades away on Sears. That won't go. 6-0 run to start the game for the Skyhawks, looking to expand on it. Sears up to the basket and finishes strong. And, and he is strong, that upper body. You see he had his shoulders squared and the ability to just float to the basket. Pass inside off the fingertips of Lauren. Now recovers. Spins around on Muhammad. Can't get the shot to fall. Jordan Sears with the defensive board. Williams, check out this speed from Desmond Williams, who got stripped heading to the hole. It'll go out of bounds off of champion Christian. Well, here's what you've not said yet. Shot clock and single digits because this pace has been torrid to begin with. This is what we've expected. Here you saw Coach Ritter on ESPN+. Plus, but uh, I think we're probably going to see a score in the 90s or 100s here. Sears, three rattles in for Jordan Sears. A perfect three for three to start the game. Yeah, Skyhawks red hot shooting. Meanwhile, champion Christian 0 for 5 to begin the game. Trying to fix that here with Young. A behind the back move, Williams stays with him. This is Damian Bowman. Step back on Curry, who closes out well. Now Bowman, catch and shoot three, goes down. A little give and go. He went back to the three-point line, and they get on the board. Williams right wing to Jacob Cruz, pulls up for three and answers right back. Jacob Cruz over Noah Brooks, and the Skyhawks respond 14 to 3, UT Martin. Yeah, when you got a guy on your team that's 6'8 and can knock down threes, that's a, that's a nice luxury. And he can shoot over basically anyone. Now, look at this crafty move to the bucket by A.J. Williams. Well, what we're seeing is Williams on several occasions here, that quickness off the dribble can get to the basket. The Dallas, Texas native can handle the ball, and he's quick. Sears to the corner. Cruz for another. Got it. Jacob Cruz back to back threes. I think he's found his rhythm here early. UT Martin has only missed one shot to start this game. Yeah, six for seven, two for three from three point range. And now a steal again. Jordan Sears has it. Sears, last year a first team All OVC member, dishes Cruz. Three straight threes for Jacob Cruz. Timeout, champion Christian. And we'll take a break here on ESPN Plus and the Skyhawks Sports Network. Conference Player of the Year. 
helped Daytona State College win a conference championship with a 27-4 record, had two 30-point games. Averaged 19 a game to go along with six rebounds. Actually, 6.9 could round that up up to seven. Tigers looking to respond with a three from the right wing. Left it short. That was K.J. Young rebounded by UT Martin. Sears bounce pass. Muhammad given space here to work on the right wing. Now Williams, deep left wing three. Not enough on it from Desmond Williams. And this is A.J. Williams. Deep three of his own. Can't get a friendly roll. K.K. Curry skies high for the rebound. A.J.'s not bashful. Williams, top of the key, Curry. A quick crossover and attacking the cup is K.K. Curry for two. 22-5, to 14-53 to play in the first half. UT Martin all over champion Christian, and they get a steal here credited to Isa Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad got a hand on that. Cruz, three. Missed that one. He checked for Jacob Cruz. Not a bad look, though. I mean, he almost hit four right there. That, that just caught the rim. Now three of four from the field is Jacob Cruz. Very quick release. I like his, his smooth three-point attempt. Young closed out well by Williams. Gets it back from Lauren. Now finds good space in the mid-range. Can't knock it down. Desmond Williams gets that ball. Williams. A few crossovers. Now Jordan Sears going one on one. A spin move and got to the outside hip and will go out of bounds. Off of champion Christian. And now some substitutions for both sides. Kobe Jeffries, along with Sebastian Mendoza and Jalen Myers, come in for the Skyhawks. Noah Brooks will come out for champion Christian into the game. Joshua Wolpel, sophomore from Mountain Pine, Arkansas. Ball averaging 8.3 points a game to go along with six rebounds to start the campaign. Muhammad, right wing Kobe Jeffries. Jeffries, UAB transfer from a few years ago. Gets a nice finger roll off the glass to make it 24-5 UT Martin. Nice pass. Right through a hole of UT Martin defenders, but Muhammad, that big frame, able to corral the rebound. Now Sears finding Mendoza. Mendoza hesitating. Nice twitchy move to the basket, but better defense from the Tigers. Now in the corner, Bowman tipped away, stolen by Muhammad. 24-5, Muhammad tried to go to Mendoza, stolen away by A.J. Williams and Williams. Oh. How about your 6-9 guy leading the break there? He was showing us the handles. Williams. Now Young, averaging 13 a game this season, along with four boards. Fiery pass inside. It was bobbled, then a jumper airballed on the far side. Jeffries will save it. Back into the hands there of, Wol of Wolpole. Now finding Malik Lawrence, who puts it up and in. Yeah, Lawrence has got size. He's 6'8". And a good quick move there on a little bank shot. 24-7 UT Martin, 12-43 to play in the first half as that pass is errant and out of bounds off of Jordan Sears. Coming in will be Justice Jackson and Christian Fussell, two newcomers for the Skyhawks. Coaching staff there having a, a word with Jordan Sears as he makes his way off the floor. Muhammad, who played extremely well in his numbers out there. Uh, two points, a couple of rebounds, but did a lot more than just that. Gabe George in the game for the first time tonight. Sophomore from Bryan, Arkansas. Feeding A.J. Williams, pulls up on Jeffries, but a great contest from Kobe Jeffries. Now some gritty play from champion Christian underneath the basket. A steal credited to George. Hey, champion Christian's doing a good job of guarding the Skyhawks as soon as the rebound comes down. This is our first foul of the night. It's going to go against Christian Fussell. Because UT Martin's turned it over twice. I, I, I feel like there's been actually three turnovers, but maybe just twice. So good pressure there by champion Christian. Again, the foul called on Fussell, MTSU transfer, 6'10 junior from Decatur, Georgia. Played a lot of games for the Blue Raiders. As the Tigers miss there and in transition, Myers was about to lose it. You could argue got bailed out with a reaching call there from Joshua Wolpole as that ball looked to be heading out of bounds. 
Good crowd here on a Monday night at the Elam Center. Jackson top of the key. Hawaii transfer going to Myers. Floater is in for Jalen Myers, who had a career high against champion Christian last season, and he starts his night off perfect, one for one. Yeah, I've got high expectations for Jalen this season. Averaging six last year. Was incredible in conference play. Had eight games in double figures. Corner three for the Tigers. Off the mark. Dylan Hopkins, the junior, couldn't hit home there. Now Mendoza attacking. Pulls up from the mid-range. Couldn't get that soft touch to go down. Myers, the offensive rebound, going fussel. Gets it swatted away. No, that was a snatch block. Correction for Malik Lawrence. And now a steal for UT Martin. Here's Mendoza in transition. Rises up and lays it in with the right hand. Yeah, nice steal. Never hesitated to beat the one defender down the floor and score. He, he's been hustling out there. Mendoza has ever since we got out here. Mendoza helping San Bernardino Valley College go 16-0 in conference play last year. Coach Ritter wanted to bring in a winner. Player knows how to win coming into this program as we have a media timeout. Here we're 10.59 to play in the first half. It's UT Martin 28, champion Christian 7 here on the Skyhawks. Sport. 8 to 7 score. Now, what we are seeing, Davis, again, is that we're less than 25% through the game, and UT Martin's got 28 points, so they're on a 100-plus pace, um, and that's what we expected in this game. And that's what this team brought last year was that high-scoring offense. They look to continue it. Kobe Jeffries pump fake the three, kept his feet set. Now Myers, mid-range shot. Not enough on that one. That's his shot, too, that little baseline jumper. And that'll be the look he tries to find this season. A.J. Williams at the midcourt logo. Guarded by Sebastian Mendoza here. Williams trying to drive baseline, hammer pass to the corner, done excellent, excellently, and it pays off with a corner three for Gabe George. Oh, a travel. And a travel issued. It's four Skyhawk turnovers again. We're kind of seeing issues with UT Martin, just little stuff again, though, but in backcourt looking to, to get the break going. I feel like you'd expect that, though, your first game of the season. Deep three from A.J. Williams goes behind the backboard. And it'll be out of bounds. Ball issue to UT Martin. What you do see here new at UT Martin is the, those shot clocks if you are a regular attendee of the Elam Center. Also a new floor as well as Justice Jackson gets on the scoring sheet, the Hawaii transfer. And a new play-by-play -play announcer named Davis Gregory. So <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta, the shot clock, the floor, and the play-by-play -play guy. Williams in midcourt. Wolpel working against Myers. Rises up and knocks it down. Myers, he got the hand right up into the view there of Wolpel, but he wasn't deterred. 30 to 10. Champion Christian in this zone defense. Working well out of it. Jackson, baseline. Elevates with the left hand and scores. How about the little hesitation there and then just exploding to the basket? That is not an easy shot to drive baseline like that. Quick trigger on the right wing, three off. Myers chases down the rebound. He's got Fussell with him and turns it over. Williams gets it away from Myers. And now A.J. Williams, one of the leaders for this Tiger team. Ball will go out. Turnover on champion Christian who just a year ago won the Southwest Region Championship. Nine players back from that team a year ago that made it to Jamie Christian's first ever national tournament. And this is a really good team. Yeah, you know, I, I think this is uh, games like this are good for them, too, to play a Division One school. Jeffries. Spin move with the left, and a travel will go against Jeffries. Uh oh that's turnover number six. So Champion Christian's out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, a pretty good haul. Uh, founded in 2005, and again, the uh, enrollment less than 200, a very small school, and part of the National Christian College Athletics. Brooks pulls up and knocks it down there on Fussell. 32-15, 840 remains in this first half that is flown by. Jackson, step back three, off the mark. Rebound being loose and picked up by Walpole. 
Sees his man in the right corner. George, three. No, rebounded by Fussell. Yeah, it was really good closeout defense there by UT Martins Jackson. Jeffries. Top of the key. Got his man to jump to the basket. Jeffries with a crafty move. He's so poised. Jeffries, you know, it's it's almost like the defense doesn't speed him up. He kind of does things at his own pace, doesn't get rattled. Just a very smooth player. 34 starts for him in his Skyhawk career. Another UT Martin stop. Jeffries up again and gets swatted away by Noah Brooks. Nice defense by the 6'8 junior. And now a turnover for champion Christian. Justice Jackson has a Euro step. Oh, my. Justice Jackson. A great move to put UT Martin up 36-15 with 7.40 to play until half. Yeah, you know, well, Jackson's from Surprise, Arizona. Well, surprise, Euro <laughs> step. <laughs> that was a nice Euro step. And there's a steal for Jalen Myers, all alone in transition. Myers with the left-handed flush. A good defense. He was, he was ball hawking that one. He was waiting for the steal and knew what to do with it as soon as he got it. And you can start to feel that the bench player is starting to get into a rotation as that three is airballed from Noah Brooks. And we have a break in the action, so we'll take a break here on the Skyhawk Sports Network and ESPN Plus here in the first half. The Skyhawks shooting a blaze right now. 17 for 26 from the field, 4 of 8 from 3. Davis Gregor here with me. Chris Brinkley, so glad to join you all on ESPN Plus and the Skyhawk Sports Network. We got Muhammad back in and Cruz for UT Martin. They had really good starts. And Desmond Williams. Muhammad backing down his defender, floats it up with a right hand and gets the offensive rebound and put back for two. Isa Muhammad, transfer from New Mexico State, started 18 of 23 games for the Aggies. Bounce pass, left wing three. Good. Damian Bowman finds the bottom. Yeah, out of Acorn, Arkansas. Just sitting there waiting on that left wing to knock it down. Myers, he's left with space. Can't hit the three. Foul called down low. Yeah. yeah. Issued on the Tigers. Cruz kind of battling there with Cade Wilson. And that's who the foul is going to go against, the sophomore from Maybank, Texas. Jackson inbound. UT Martin leading by 22. Jackson left wing, mounts pass. Muhammad back to work here against Lauren. On the left block, Muhammad goes up, missed. Offensive board, Myers back up and in, Jalen Myers. Yeah, he's down there on the right block. He's left-handed, got the rebound on the weak side and finished. K.J. Young, right wing. Williams has loved the deep three. Yeah. Williams looks to shoot every time he touches the ball. He's also a facilitator, and that time he turns it over on a baseline cut. Yeah, K.J. Young cutting inside as more substitutions for UT Martin. K.K. Curry back out there. I haven't seen Jordan Sears come back out yet as the majority of the starters are out there. and Maybe this is something that Coach Ritter wants to see, Justice Jackson leading the team whenever Sears is out of the game. It's as you say that, Sears gets up. And Jackson dishes to Muhammad for two. Nice cut. Justice Jackson, the assist to Muhammad. Now midcourt, K.J. Young. 0 for 5 today is Young. Now Williams snaps the net on the right wing. A.J. Williams gets his first three to fall. I wouldn't want to play a game with horse with that young man. <laughs> Jackson splits the defense. Oh, a marvelous move by Justice Jackson. Beautiful. He just looked like he hung in the air on that one. That was a matrix move. And again, as you said, split the double team. Never took his eye off the prize. Williams fakes the three. Young trying to attack on Jackson. Shows he can play some defense as well. Young pulls up on Jackson. Impressive shot by K.J. Young, the redshirt junior from St. Louis, Missouri. We're seeing champion Christian now build that shooting percentage up. They're about 33% now. Williams, top of the key. Deep three. An air balled. Towards the back and out of bounds. Yeah, Dez has had a tough start, 0 for 3. Jordan Sears in for Justice Jackson. Eight points for Jackson, 4 of 5 from the field to go along with one assist and one steal. 
Jordan Sears back out there. First team all OVC last year. Preseason all OVC team this season. Yeah, he impressed the conference. Corner three for the Tigers. In and out. KK Curry grabs the miss. Now look at the speed from Curry to the corner to Williams. Mishandled. Now to the top. Muhammad. Three straight away is good. Isa Muhammad makes it 49 to 24. And I tell you what, I, I like this young man. Uh, I think UT Martin fans are going to be happy with all of the attributes he has to offer. Young against Sears, almost stolen away from Williams. And now back with A.J. Williams. Williams versus Williams here. To the corner, Young three closed out on by Sears and the rebound loose to K.K. Curry. And then Curry will be fouled by Young on the reach in. So another timeout. We'll take one. Skyhawks with a big score here. 49-24, leading champion Christian. 350. But last trip, uh, you know, a small staff, a small university, and they compete at a high level, which is which is very impressive. And just talking with some of their young men, including Xavier Hall, who's out with that hamstring injury tonight. Uh, great sportsmanship, very polite, love basketball. A good opponent for UT Martin here to open the season. Cruz, right wing three, off the back of the rim, rebound, tapped around, Curry's got it to the corner, Williams, three, left it short, now the rebound bounced around the champion, Christian. But Desmond Williams so far having a tough night, 0 for 4 from three. Yeah, he's had a couple pretty good looks too. And Williams shot 32% last season. It was up in the OVC's elite and three-pointers made a game, close to three. To the post, Laurent gets it stolen from Desmond Williams. And that's something we saw last year was Williams' ability to guard, really one through five. Sears, screen from Muhammad. Left side, Williams. Down low, Muhammad. Fakes back out to the post. Muhammad jump hook. Missed it, now got the offensive rebound, put it back up with contact. And Issa Muhammad will go to the free throw line for the first time for either team tonight. Yeah, how about that? That's with almost the end of the first half here, 2.49 to go. Muhammad might have rushed that initial shot a little bit, had more time, probably had an athletic advantage there, uh, but then had the tenacity to go grab that rebound and get to the free throw line. Muhammad, 6'9", 245, senior from Atlanta, Georgia, drills the first free throw, won a national championship with Northwest Florida State, and 2021-22 year that is at the NJC AA level same level that Jacob Cruz came from and then went to New Mexico State started 18 of 23 games for them scored double figures 11 times now he joins this Skyhawks starting five hits the second free throw and Fussell will come in for him 51-24 249 remains here in the first half UT Martin in front Skyhawks on that big scoring pace with 51 already. And the UT Martin now with 38 shot attempts. As you said, we haven't had a lot of free throws, so that's going to raise the shot attempts. And a hold called down low on Jordan Sears. Yeah, we had the, uh, the guards down there uh, in the post battling each other. And Hopkins had a step there on Jordan. Jordan in his second year as a Skyhawk. Transfer from Gardner-Webb. Originally recruited by, and sit behind the back move by Fussell. Hold on a minute, now a Euro step. Can't finish, but the rebound goes out. UT Martin almost kept that in play. Impressive move by the big man yeah. in transition. So if I'm playing NBA Live, you're hitting buttons <laughs> I'm not used to right there on all those moves. That was pretty impressive, that's right. Move back to Jordan, transferred from Gardner-Webb and Sears was originally recruited by Ryan Ritter over at Bethune-Cookman as a great backdoor cut, reverse layup, no good, and the rebound out of bounds off of the Tigers. Yeah, but the two go back, to, you know, back to camps and, and knowing each other, Coach Ritter and Jordan Sears, to when Jordan was in middle, junior high, middle school. That's a long time. And, and you know, and, and look, when you're a point guard and, and your coach have that kind of trust and that kind of longevity in knowing each other, Helps you out big time. Has the pass to Fussell, gets stolen away. A.J. Williams now. 
I mean, a point guard is an extension of a coach on the floor. Curry almost got the steal on Williams, who then went up and under on Fussell for two. And what I see with Jordan, and saw it almost immediately last year, two words, poise. Fussell, straight away three. And leadership. I mean, your point guard is poised and is a leader. Look out. And that's what you want. The quarterback of basketball. A 3-2 strong from Damian Bowman. In transition come the Skyhawks, where they were one of the best last season. And that passed through the fingertips of Fussell. Yeah, maybe a little low there on the pass. He was also ready to <laughs> finish that before he caught it. And now UT Martin, one of their last seven. Yeah. But making up for it on the defensive end during this run. Yeah, haven't scored in over three minutes, which has not been the case for this first half. 107 to play in the first half. UT Martin 51, champion Christian 26. Cruz with the block. Now Jackson. Behind the back move, operating smoothly. And the rebound out on the Skyhawks. But shooting uh, wool continues now. They've not scored in almost four minutes. And 0 for their last six, one of their last eight. A couple of possessions remaining. Maybe they can score again before halftime. Williams on the left elbow. Out Hopkins, step back on Sears and knocks it down. Dylan Hopkins and Ooh. a carry issue on Jordan Sears. Yeah, and the official now explaining it to Coach Ritter, who's not complaining about the call and explaining it to Jordan. And, you know, better that call be made now so it's something you correct. And if the officials are paying attention to that this year, yeah, be careful. There's a lot of carries in basketball that don't get called or palming the ball. Ball floated into Williams at the OVC logo. Right corner. Three was there, but not taken by George. Now hands off, mid-range shot. No good. Sears. What you see, you'll see a point of emphasis from officials to begin the season. By the end of the season, it's not really a point of emphasis. But in the beginning, because everybody's either learned and adapted or it's just not as much a point of emphasis anymore. Shot clock turned off. It's Sears versus Hopkins. Five seconds. Sears to the cup. With contact, spins that ball around to get the twist off the glass and put it in for two. And then Jackson's shot at the end of the first half is no good. UT Martin will carry a 53-28 to 28 advantage into the break. Chris, your first half thoughts. Hey, House. They have competed. Got off to an exceptionally slow start. I'm not sure what the biggest lead of the largest run was, an 11-0 run by UT Martin. And the Skyhawks led by as many as 27 at one point. But I feel like they're at the end of that first half. Champion Christian kind of turned it on a little bit and forced UT Martin to, into some poor shooting in the last five minutes. Ready to start the second half. Champion Christian will start out with the basketball with A.J. Williams. Left wing, Young. Kept the pivot foot, but Sears closed out well. Now K.K. Curry, the steal in transition. Curry! Nice. And he had Bowman hanging on him there, and he just kind of muscled him out of the way with the size advantage for the big finish. Second dunk of the game for UT Martin, and now a steal. Jordan Sears in transition, three on two. Cruz, left wing. Swings it out, Williams. Right wing three for Desmond Williams off the right side of the rim, and then Jacob Cruz will clean it up. It seems Noah Brooks was shaken up. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's an ankle or a knee, but he's, he's limping out there. Trying to walk it off. Three from Young goes down. A.J. Young for three, 57-31, 26-point lead for the Skyhawks. Jacob Cruz, Issa Muhammad feeding Curry. Nice layup there from K.K. Curry. And sneaking that one in over the shoulder on the cut. Young behind the back. And Jordan Sears. Seeing solid defense from him here on Young. Jacob Cruz with the steal. Alley-oop for Sears! Goes over Noah Brooks. Cruz to Sears. I wasn't expecting that. Sears got up, man. He was on an elevator with the two-handed flush, and Cruz, the three-point shooter, with the assist. And A.J. Williams will try to halt the Skyhawk momentum. 
Cruz, top of the key, to the basket! Oh my goodness! Jacob Cruz just exploding at the rim. Highlight material back to back. A.J. Williams floater in. So I like this. I mean, we're really seeing the versatility, the depth. And when you got your guard catching alley-oops, your point guard on a two-handed flush. Muhammad now with a right hand. Can't get the roll. Rebound to Brooks. Three from A.J. Williams. No. Strong rebound from K.K. Curry, who goes quickly into transition. Curry up with the right hand and soft touch from K.K. Curry for two. 30-point so lead. Incredibly athletic. I mean, he just covers a lot. I mean, his nickname should be Rug because he covers <laughs> floor space quickly. That was kind of dumb, wasn't it? But you know what I mean. <laughs> he covers a lot of ground in a short he amount does. of time. Three comes up short for Young. Offensive rebound, Lawrence spinning around. Can't get it to fall. How about red carpet? That's a better. <laughs> <laughs> he covers a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Cruz pulls up for three with a catch and shoot in and out. And Chris talked to Jordan before the game as he was going through layup lines, looked back over to me and said, I'm feeling bouncy. And we that. just saw that. Bucket, though, for K.J. Young with a good finish. I mean, Chris, when you can get a 5'11 point guard, first, not just any, not just your point guard, but your 5'11 point guard to go up and catch an alley-oop yeah. from your 6'7", 6'8", guard <laughs> slash forward, yeah. You're pretty deep. That's right. Cruz, reverse layup goes off the undercarriage of the goal. A.J. Williams now working on Desmond Williams. Floater with the left hand. Didn't get enough on it. Muhammad has it up to Williams. And Desmond Williams to the basket with the left hand finishes well. Yeah, and, you know, we look at Des maybe as a three-point shooter, but don't underestimate his ability to get to the basket, too. I like it when Des gets to the basket. If he could do that some, it will open up that three-point game for him even more. And when Des gets to the basket, then it explodes his three-point game as a three taken by Brooks is airballed. Substitutions with Jeffries and Mendoza in. And a media timeout. We'll take a break. UT Martin leading champion Christian 67-37 here on ESPN. There's Jacob Cruz, alley-oop to Jordan Sears. That is the Daytona State College transfer, alley-ooping to the second-year Skyhawk Sears, an all-OVC guard. That was nice. I watched that three or four more times. <laughs> and, again, you got your 6'8 guard slash forward alley-ooping to your 5'11 point guard. It's the, pretty good. The in inverted universe. Mendoza snapping the net. So he was behind the Mendoza line there. Ah, very good. Nice job. 70 to 37, Myers in for Jacob Cruz, who will come out. Now, you know, we I said the Skyhawks really struggled at the end of the first half, and that has not been the case at all, coming out here on fire to start the second half. They have come out and put up an exclamation point in this second half. 15-20 to play. UT Martin, 70, champion Christian, 37. Wolfel, top of the key. Wilson, rebounded by Myers. Myers, Mendoza, and they'll say he stepped out. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be things to correct in this game. I mean, some unforced turnovers. Peace Muhammad out, Christian Plussell in. And I think you look at UT Martin, where is it? Yeah, that's too many turnovers now. Ten turnovers total for the Skyhawks. But they've gotten 17 points off of the 15 turnovers forced on champion Christian. Right. Young hits the deck. Ball loose off of Kobe Jeffries. You know, I don't know what Coach Ritter's magic number is. Most coaches want 12 or less. But that's kind of tricky because it's an, it's also a possession kind of thing. I mean, some games are up-tempo and have more possessions, so you're going to have more turnovers, yeah. obviously. Give credit to... Manager Anthony Lane out there cleaning up the floor. Yeah, quick response. We'll give him the good housekeeping award. Inbounding Williams facing Kobe Jeffries. I was watching an NBA game the other day, and during their halftime show, they had a glitter explosion onto the floor. And oh. It was like a 10-minute delay. 
My and the goodness. hardest thing to clean up off of a basketball court is glitter. God, I would think a vacuum for that, something. They tried everything, mops, <laughs> brooms, vacuums, but with no glitter. Young right wing. Defended well off the screen there by Mendoza and Sears. And now Young inside, bounce pass, up and swatted by Mendoza in a foul call. Yeah, good defense. I'd have to see it again to see how much contact was made. But I'd say Walpole almost played through it. Yeah, I think Mendoza's kind of arguing his case. He goes to it, the free throw line there. It almost looked clean. We'll see what we got here. Um, oh. Might have gotten yeah. that wrist. Yeah. You could tell by how much his body moved, how much it affected actually him physically as he was falling backwards. He First was, free throws of the night here for champion Christian. Hey, that's right. And the Skyhawks by, only have two. Taken by Joshua Walpole. 6'5", 165 sophomore from Mountain Pine, Arkansas. Makes it 70-39. to 39. UT Martin still in front. Champion Christian putting on a press defense. And now they'll call it off. And Jeffries basically just tossed it to A.J. Williams, who takes Jeffries to the cup. And turnover number 11 now for UT Martin. Really, Williams has 13. And a hold called on the Tigers going against Bowman. Sears coming out for Justice Jackson. Jordan exiting right now with 11 points, 7 away from 1,000 in his career. Sebastian Mendoza with a basketball to Justice Jackson. Jackson feeding Fussell on the roll. Now to the corner, Myers, hand in his face, but still knocks down the three. Jalen Myers with a triple. Yeah, I kind of like to see Jordan get 1,000 for his career at home. Not that it makes that much of a difference, but the next game will be at Mississippi State. He, he expecting to definitely get it tonight or there. Pull-up jumper, Williams. Rebound still loose on the floor. Good work. And it's Walpole. Now a three is down for Bowman. <laughs> he, giving a low five to the coaching staff over there. That's pretty cool. Jeffries up the floor with the Skyhawks leading. Am I 29? Jackson, top of the key. Knocks it down. Justice Jackson for three. Good shot. Justice Jackson now in double figures with 11. Yeah, he, pl he played at Hawaii for the Rainbow Warriors. Had a chance to go there with football a couple years ago. It's Bustle fighting to the basket. Myers can't finish it off, but an offensive rebound. Mendoza out to Jeffries. Swings over Jackson. Maybe a little heat check is good. Justice Jackson back-to-back -back threes. He's got 14. Yeah, nice job there by Jackson. UT Martin, five of their last seven. They've come out in the second half on fire. Three no good there for Young. And now Jackson in transition. Between the legs, crossover. Drive inside, hanging in the air, but can't get the finish. Here's K.J. Young. Good move on Jeffries. Yeah. And knocks down that three. Yeah, that was pretty. Russell, top of the key. Taking it inside with the right hand and shooting foul called on Cade Wilson, the sophomore from Ma Bank, Texas. And now we'll have our fifth and sixth free throw of the game. Substitutions for both teams. Three new Tigers about to come in, and also David Kamwanga will make his season debut. Kamwanga in his third year. Hustle's first free throw rattles in. And of the five free throws shot, all have been made. Hopefully I didn't jinx him there. <laughs> Christian Fussell, number 35 ranked center, or 35th ranked center rather, in the nation out of Green Force Christian Academy. 
Transfer from MTSU coming over here to UT Martin. Chris, commentator Jinx didn't work that time. That's right. Hit that yeah. second free throw and will head out to some handshakes from his teammates as David Kamwanga enters. And you know, for Fussell, not too far of a trip from Middle Tennessee to UT Martin. You look at Jackson, who played at Hawaii. And, well, we're experiencing 80 degree weather this week, shockingly, unseasonably warm for November After in Tennessee. We had frost all over yeah. our cars last week. Three from the left wing, good. Dylan Hopkins. And we have a timeout on the floor. UT Martin 81 champion Christian 50. The sky. Back underway at the Elam Center. UT Martin leading champion Christian by 31. Davis Gregory here with me. Chris Brinkley. Skyhawks and Tigers back out on the floor and a quick turnover on UT Martin. Leading over to Walpole to the corner. Smart mid-range shot going in for Dylan Hopkins. Seven points for him and he's now three of four from the field. Kobe Jeffries attacking the basket and foul called before the shot. Another timeout. We'll take a quick one as the UT Martin Skyhawks again leading champion Christian 81 to 52. 81 52, the Skyhawk dance team in attendance tonight for the season opener and home opener here at the campus of the University of Tennessee at Martin. Skyhawks lead the Tigers 81 52 coming out of the media timeout. Justice Jackson. It's an intercepted by A.J. Williams with the left hand. Gets it and one, the first run of the night, and it will go against Justice Jackson with the foul. That will give him 15 points, another steal. He got four assists. And Williams came into this game the leading scorer for the Tigers, averaging 23 points a game. Senior from Dallas, Texas. Also the leader in assists with four. As I said earlier, they're playing without Xavier Hall. Had a hamstring injury. Hopefully he'll be back soon. 81-55. Tough to have those injuries early in the season when your teammates are just getting acclimated to everything. Jackson trying to get a foul called. Now up on Jeffries, who goes up with good defense. It was Gabe George, who then pulls up, missed that one. Myers. Full court pass to Kamwanga, who can't handle it. That was a football pass right there. And David Kamwanga, great story about him, actually learned basketball at the Serge Ibaka Dreams Academy camp back in the Dominican Republic of the Congo. Yeah. And now playing Division I college basketball. And he was older when he learned to play basketball. And, you know, you think a lot of people start playing basketball when they're four, five, six years old. Kamwanga didn't have that luxury. That was not his sport. And, you know, just still kind of learning the little parts of the game, but has made great strides since being here at UT Martin. Defending the post there and a turnover on Lauren. You know, and the thing about that is Davidson, you know, I see it all the time in athletics, is when you don't think, when you just play, because it's just what you know and it's what you've done your whole life, it, the sport is so much easier. But anytime you learn a new sport, there's a big learning curve. Absolutely. And you have to think, you know, there's a lot going on. Jackson to the cup. Oh, just kissed it off the glass but couldn't get it to go down. Mendoza fighting for the offensive rebound. Goes over. Jackson, corner three off the back of the rim. Kamwanga, another offensive rebound for the Skyhawks. Bobbled for a moment. Goes back up. Another offensive board. This is Myers. Gets another one. And then a foul called. Loose ball. Now what Kamwanga does not have to think about is playing hard because he, he gives it his all. You saw there on that possession with Kamwanga and Myers. 10 5 to play in the game. UT Martin 81, champion Christian 55. No, UT Martin still on that 100-point pace. The Skyhawks, well, cold stretch right now. One of their last nine. This is what happened in the first half. At the end of the first half, they hit that cold stretch. Jackson. Myers. Good defense. Gets it stripped away. Excellent defense from George. The turnovers. They've been the one thing that have been an issue for UT Martin tonight. Corner three, Wolpel. No good, and the ball out of bounds. Yeah, so turnovers are even at 16 apiece now, Davis. You Tiger basketball. 
I'm sure that's just more than Coach Ritter wants. I mean, you can afford to turn the ball over in a game like this against Mississippi State. Every possession will be huge. Williams fading away in the corner, airballed it. K.K. Curry has it. And Curry with that speed, a reach in. But I feel like shot selection, execution has been pretty solid in this game. I'd agree with that. Yeah. You see Martin right now shooting 52%. They made 34 shots and nine threes. Jackson has it in midcourt. And the big stat, the dominant stats, rebounding. 46 for UT Martin, just 24 for champion Christian. Curry baseline. Hammer pass Williams. No. Rebound Muhammad, but a foul. Was it on Muhammad? I didn't. It is. It's going to yeah. be on Issa Muhammad. So I totally missed that. He, he would have gotten away with that if I was officiating because I looked, I saw it after he had really good position, but apparently he had that great position because of a foul. He's, phys he's a physical player. He's strong. Inbounding is Noah Brooks. So far, three points for him. Just one of five from the field. Wish Dez could have hit that three-pointer. He's, he's really yet to get going here. Well, it was just two points and one coming in on a layup, one for seven. And I liked what he did there because he was struggling from three-point range, took it to the basket. Oh, there's yeah, a there's the bank is in. open. That's the ATM sh shot right there. <laughs> the ATM is open. Bank is open on a Monday night at the Elam Center, courtesy of K.J. Young. Jackson, Muhammad, three. Good form. Just bounced off the front of that rim and then out of play. 81-58. Jackson comes out for Sears and Cruz in for Myers. KJ Young, 14 points. He's one of two Tigers in double figures with AJ Williams. He's got 16. Young shooting four of nine from three. Good night there. They're moving screen. Yeah. Noah didn't disguise that very well. Noah Brooks from Kansas. Those guys from Kansas know how to shoot some hoops. Indeed they do. Cruz will inbound. 81-58 UT Martin. 8.34 remaining in the game. Aiden Henderson in the game too from Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Cruz in the corner. A shimmy. Hop step down low, Muhammad, with an exclamation point on the rim. Yeah, and, you know, so that's what we've seen from Cruz. Not only is he a scorer from the outside, he had a dunk earlier, but he's also a playmaker and really set up Muhammad nicely. Young towards midcourt against Sears. Pulls up on Sears. A good-looking shot from K.J. Young up to 17 on the night. And now Sears will work against Young. Screen left from Muhammad. Cruz triggers the three. In and out. Rebound Lauren. Right wing. Bowman. Facing excellent defensive coverage from Williams. Pass down low, man, wide open, but a missed shot by Noah Brooks. Curry, bounce pass Cruz. Out to Williams, wide open for three. Mm. Off to the right. Yeah. Poor Dez now 0 for 7 from three-point range. And he's a little streaky. I mean, when he gets going, look out. But just having a tough time tonight. And a dunk for champion Christians Malik Lauren. And a timeout on the floor, 83-63. And we'll take a break here with seven minutes and 35 seconds. The, the thing of it is UT Martin just had a big enough lead where it doesn't appear to be impactful, but it's still dominant. Jordan Sears brings it up for UT Martin. Seven points away from 1,000. Alley-oop to Issa Mohammed. Okay. There you go, turning it around, coming out of the timeout. I've always said you can tell teams how, how good they are and, and the coaching staff communicates with them on how they perform out of timeouts. Fifth assist for Jordan Sears. And Muhammad's got 15. 
The defense back to work for the Skyhawks with KK Curry. Brings it up now. Curry cross to the right and puts it up. Can't get it to go down with the foul. KK Curry will go to the free throw line. Shooting two. Cleveland, Tennessee native. Preseason all OVC team for KK. Yeah, just incredibly athletic. I would have to say one of the most athletic UT Martin players I've ever seen. Averaged eight points a game last year with five rebounds. Third in the OVC in field goal percentage at 58%. And rebounds a game with that 5.7 mark. KK is a player who's been here for three years. Transferred from South Alabama. Free throw no good, but Jacob Cruz with the offensive rebound out to Curry, who then loses it to Young. And then Young coughs it up. Curry. Hands off Cruz. Sears, left wing three. Had too much air on it. Rebound and up ahead, A.J. Williams. He triggers the three and hits. A.J. Williams, 19 for him. Yeah, that, that'll lead all scores. 86-66. 20-point lead for UT Martin. Oh. With six minutes as Sears hits the deck. We'll hop right back up. Now has it on the right wing. Has time to think about this one and drain it. Jordan Sears for three. Up to 14 is the Daytona Beach, Florida native. That's got the countdown to 1,000 now at four away. Inside, Lawrence for two. Chris just mentioned it. Jordan Sears up to 14 points, four away from 1,000 for his career. Defended by the center, Lawrence. And Cruz has it. Try to get it back to Sears. Closed out well by A.J. Williams. Now Cruz to the basket with the right hand, and the whistle will blow. Jacob Cruz to the free throw line. That's a nice accomplishment for Sears, too, to hit that 1,000 in his junior year. Cruz nice. headed to the stride for the first time tonight. 13 points for him, five rebounds and two assists. And NJC at double-A, second-team All-American, first attempt no good. You know, and think about Sears, too, when he hits that 1,000. I don't feel like he forces much. I mean, he I really totally agree. He plays within the offensive scheme. He lets the offense come to him. He is a facilitator. Second free throw hits home. 90 to 68, UT Martin 10 away from the century mark. Here with 515 remaining in the second half. Champion Christian though, five of the last seven. Going to work, AJ Williams intercepted by Jacob Cruz. Kobe Jeffries just checked in. Try to go to Cruz, now gets it to him after A.J. Williams was pestering Jeffries. Cruz putting on the dribble moves now. And here's the guard, fadeaway jump hook. That's a special move there from Cruz. Yeah, he decided he was going to score on the left wing and just had to establish the position and get set. 92-68 Skyhawks. Bowman. Can't bank it home. Issa Muhammad going to Cruz. Left wing, now to the basket. Jacob Cruz, reverse layup. Can't get the finish. I think he wanted a foul called with that, and that ball will sail out of bounds off of champion Christian. With now Joshua Wolpole coming in. The Skyhawks have settled now after that last timeout. Up 92-68, 415 remaining. Couple things we're watching for. One, the 100 point mark for UT Martin offensively, and will Sears hit 1,000 with four more points in this game? I don't know if he will if he keeps getting double teamed like that, but here's right. Kobe Jeffries. Top of the key. Jeffries, a step back three for Kobe. A rebound, AJ Williams. Williams tries his look at a step back three off the back of the rim. Offensive rebound trickles out to Wolpel. KJ Young. Wow. Fading away. That's way off to the left. Rebound Jordan Sears. They didn't have his shoulder set. Sears up now 14 points, five rebounds, and five assists. Goes inside. Not enough on it. 
Right wing. Young takes his time and hits. Yeah, and yeah, that's the difference between having your feet set and your shoulders set and not having your feet set and your sh shoulders set. 92-71, UT Martin leading champion Christian. We'll take it. Come see the difference at United Fidelity Bank. 92-71, UT Martin. This one about to wrap up here at the Kathleen and Tom Allen Center. But still 315 left to play as Kobe Jeffries will inbound for UT Martin. And getting a good look at this full court defense they could be facing later on in the year. Yep. Mendoza to Jackson. Now Myers tried to alley it to Kam Wong and now goes back up and draws a foul. Yeah, Myers just staying with the ball, staying with the play. And, and it's good. I mean, I'm sure Coach Ritter's glad they're seeing the press gets it to work on it. And, and again, it's a nice tune up game for both of these teams. Good for champion Christian, good for UT Martin. At the conclusion of the game, we'll visit with UT Martin head basketball coach Ryan Ritter in his third season. Coach Ritter, with this win, will move up to win number 171 for him, his 28th victory as the Skyhawk head coach. Myers in double figures. He looks too young to have that many wins. <laughs> and that's not – he, he – I, I, he, Totally deserves every one of those wins, but he just looks too young to have that many <laughs> wins. <laughs> That's a lot of wins. It is. Williams bottled up by Jeffries. Jumper, no. Myers has got it. Throwing around some elbows. Has to be careful there. And then a reach in foul called on Champion Christian. Of course, Coach Ritter grew up in a basketball gym his dad a legendary coach coaches with his brother over there reed on the sideline and reed in his second season with the skyhawks as myers will go to the free throw line ut martin in the double bonus what's funny with coach ritter of course he played basketball he's a great basketball player but loves to talk about when he played baseball too 94 71 myers back to the line 12 points tonight for Jalen Myers. Yeah, I predicted the Skyhawks would hit 100. Uh, they're not there yet. Jalen Myers, a double-double for him. Yeah, and not in a lot, 17 minutes, so not a ton of minutes there to get the double-double. That's impressive. And I, I, he's kind of quietly done that. I, you, you know. Exactly. 12 points, 10 rebounds for Jalen Myers. Gets the second free throw to go. A sneaky double-double. Young pulling up on Mendoza. Kamwanga with a rebound. Justice Jackson now crossing the timeline. Jackson has had an impressive Skyhawk debut, and that will continue with two more points at 16 now on the total for Justice Jackson. Yeah, I've been impressed with him too. Williams into the corner. That was Henderson. Now a free throw line jumper. That was a hard bank shot. I tell you, if he'd have banked that one in, that would have been nice. Hopkins trying to go for bank. Jeffries with the left. An excellent step from Kobe Jeffries equals two points and 100 on the night for UT Martin. Yeah, holding that ball out like a plate on a dinner platter. And A.J. Williams with the three. 22 now. Going to stop the clock with a minute 45. The Skyhawks hit the century mark at 100 to 74. And now freshman Braylon Jackson coming in from East Dublin, Georgia, and Noonan High School. Over a thousand points in his high school career. Class 6A All Region 5 honoree. Yeah, fun for him in his freshman season. And Myers switching that ball around, finishes with the right hand. Under 90 seconds left to go in this one. A.J. Williams with a game high 22. Can't get that one to fall. Two Tigers with 20 points. Williams with 22 and Young with 20. Attacking the basket. Shot missed there by Jackson. This is Gabe George over Braylon Jackson. Out of bounds. 59 seconds left, 102-74. 
Justice Jackson, top of the key. Working here on Henderson and Justice Jackson. Beautiful floater, 104-74, 30-point edge for the Skyhawks. And Justice Jackson with 18 points, a team high for him. Ball goes inside, Henderson, shot close, no. 25 seconds left, Sebastian Mendoza will have it. And the shot clock turned off, tried to go out to Braylon Jackson, stolen away, and the shot up and in for Dylan Hopkins. Has nine now. And Mendoza, defended well, tried to get it up to Braylon Jackson, now does. Jackson into the corner to Justice Jackson. Six seconds, now five, Braylon Jackson for three, too much on it. And then the pass up ahead, tipped away. Myers will hold on to it, and UT Martin will start 2023-24 out 1-0. UT Martin defeats champion Christian 104-76.